Hi guys, in today's tutorial I'll show you 5 things you should know in After Effects that will definitely help you with your editing. Let's get started. The first one is expanding multiple layer properties at once. Normally, when you need to create keyframes for position, rotation, and scale, you open each shortcut one by one. But did you know you can expand all of them at the same time, or only the ones you need? For example if I want to expand scale, position, and rotation together, I press S to reveal scale, then hold Shift and press P to reveal position and while still holding shift, press R to reveal rotation. Now as you can see, all three properties are expanded at once. Everything looks clean and organized, and you don't have to switch between properties to adjust them one by one, you can work on them all together. The second tip is restoring properties like rotation or scale quickly. In this example, you can see the scale and rotation are messed up. Normally, to fix the rotation, you press R to reveal the rotation property, then right-click and choose Reset. To fix the scale, you press S and reset it as well. This method works, I use it too, but there's an even faster way. To reset the scale, simply double-click the selection tool right here. It instantly sets the scale back to 100%. To reset the rotation, double-click the rotation tool, and you're done. The third tip is a real-time saver when it comes to controlling effects and their keyframes. Normally you can adjust all your effects from the effects panel, but when you have 4, 5, or even more effects applied, especially with lots of keyframes, it's much easier to control everything directly from the timeline. You can reveal all applied effects on a layer by pressing E on your keyboard. This will show every effect on that layer. Then simply expand the effect you want to adjust and control it right from the timeline. Once you're done, press E on your keyboard again to close everything and keep your timeline clean. The fourth tip is about snapping layers to the exact time you want in the timeline. You can drag the layer manually and place it where you need it, but there's a much faster shortcut. Move the playhead to the point where you want the layer to start, then press the open bracket key on your keyboard. You can also snap the end of the layer. Just move the playhead to where you want the layer to end and press the closing bracket key. And and that's it, the layer snaps perfectly into place. The fifth tip is a must-know shortcut for jumping to the beginning or end of a selected layer. Instead of scrubbing through the timeline to find the end of the layer, just press O on your keyboard to jump straight to it. To jump to the beginning of the layer, press I. As a bonus tip, I want to show you how to make your workflow faster, especially if you're on a low-end PC. Even on a powerful computer, After Effects can feel heavy when working with 4K compositions. If you have an SSD or an NVMe M.2 drive with at least 1TB of storage, you should increase After Effects cache size immediately. In After Effects, the disk cache is a temporary storage area where AE saves your pre-rendered frames. When your RAM fills up during playback, AE starts pulling frames from the disk cache instead of re-rendering them. By increasing the cache size, you allow After Effects to store more preview frames, which means, smoother previews, fewer frame drops, faster timeline scrubbing, and better overall performance, especially in 4K projects. So make sure to increase your disk cache size inside the preferences to get the smoothest preview possible. To increase the cache, go to the Edit menu, scroll down to Preferences, and select Media and Disk Cache. Make sure the disk cache is enabled, and set the maximum disk cache size to around 200 gigabytes. If you have more space available on your SSD, you can increase it to 400 gigabytes. The larger the cache, the better your performance will be. Hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed it, please give it a like.